Have you just tried to open up a game or a program and something like this showed up? Well, that's called a missing DLL error and sucks because it won't let you start your program until we provide the missing DLL file. But don't throw your PC out the window yet because we have two ways to fix it. I don't want to bother you with what a DLL file actually is or it does. You are here for a fix, so let's get started. But before you can do anything, you need to know if your Windows is installed as a 64 or 32-bit version. And you do not need to know what this exactly is or means, you just need to know the number. To find it out, just right-click on your Windows symbol in your taskbar and choose System. Now in this window, search for the line saying Operating System and look for the number right next to Bit. Now if it says 64-bit, you have a 64-bit Windows. If it says 32-bit, you have a 32-bit Windows. Now just keep the information for later on. The method number one is to install the missing DLL file yourself. For this, head over to our website by clicking the link in the description or in the i symbol in the upper right corner. Here, scroll all the way down to the download section where you'll need to choose according to your system. If you have a 32-bit Windows, download the 32-bit file. If you have a 64-bit Windows, download both the 64 and the 32-bit file. After downloading the files, open them up and keep track which is which because both the 32 and 64-bit DLL files have the exact same name. Now we need to open up our explorer and head over to our main PC, then into our C drive and then into the Windows folder. Now here scroll all the way down until you can see the folder called System32 and SysWow64. Here for the 32-bit Windows users, you need to drag your 32-bit file into the folder System32. The 64-bit users need to drag the 64-bit file into System32 and the 32-bit file into SysWow64. Now you can close all the windows and restart your PC and after a fresh restart, the program that was showing you the DLL error should now be detecting the DLL correctly and open up just fine. But there are instances where the program does not want to find the DLL. For these cases, we have a method number two. There is a package from Microsoft itself called DirectX and so on that contains the DLL and should fix the error if it hasn't been done before. So let's go back to our website with the method 2 link in the description or with the i symbol in the upper right corner. Here again, scroll all the way down and download the package. Once downloaded, open the installer, check the mark saying I accept, click a couple of times on next and don't forget to uncheck the mark next to the bing bar, cause nobody wants that, and just wait until the installation is finished. Once everything is done, just like before, restart your PC and your program should finally start up and you can use whatever you wanted to use. Okay, I hope you got your problem resolved and can now use whatever you wanted to use. I know a bit which program can cause which DLL error, but I read really enough to know for every DLL, so please let me know what exact program had your error in the comment below. And if you encounter a DLL error that has not been featured on the channel yet, don't be shy, just write it down in the comments and I will add it to my to-do list. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and if it helped you, leave a like, make sure to be subscribed with the bell icon to not miss another video and have a look at one of these totally random videos.